Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Kia for those who are new and I wanted to start this video off by thanking you guys so, 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 so much for a thousand subscribers. It's been a long journey and I'm so grateful that you guys are coming along with me. I'm super excited to be a part of the YouTube partnership program. I got an email saying that I just needed to upload a few more videos before I get this moolah. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, I know I haven't been the most consistent, but I'm going to work on it. Like, it's a lot going on, but I'm going to work on it because I still have, like, these goals. And this is one of my big goals. So, thank you guys so much, so, so much for your help in this. So, today's video is going to be, like, a life update. Originally, I wanted to do a get ready with me, but clearly I'm already ready. Like, <laughs> it was other stuff going on when I was getting ready, but... I'm gonna just give you guys a quick little life update. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about my experience in beauty school. I'm gonna talk to you guys about my friends, talk to you guys about dating because people be so nosy. So I'm gonna just talk about it in this video really quickly, briefly. Um, jobs and the nightlife out here. Um, so before I start, I just want this to be very, very clear. I don't want anything that I'm saying in this video to discourage anybody who's thinking about moving here to Houston or moving away from home. This is just my personal experience. Um, don't let it discourage you, please. Please don't let it discourage you. But anywho, let's get into it. So first, beauty school. Um, beauty school is not it. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Like, I just expected so much more. Like, I expected everything to be hands-on. I was super excited about getting the kits and everything. And if I'm being honest, I feel like I just paid $14,000 for friends because that's really the only thing I got out of it. Um, and not to say that this is all beauty schools, but the one I went to, I don't recommend it. I don't care if they watch it. I already paid y'all my money. I don't wanna hear nothing. Like, <laughs> it was just not, like, it wasn't it. And it, it's crazy because when I initially started beauty school, and I'm pretty sure a lot of girls who went to school with me can say the same thing. When we started, we were so motivated, so excited, so like, like ready, like ready to do this. And then as the process went on, because of the lack of professionalism, the lack of knowledge, like lack of everything, just the lack, the lack of everything, it just started to feel like more of a hassle than something that was like enjoyable. I feel like at the school that I went to, like we had a lot of cosmetology teachers who ended up becoming esthetician teachers because that's what they needed. But it would have been really nice to have somebody who went to school to be an esthetician and like that's all they did. And that's like for them to teach us because it was a lot of things like lashes. I didn't get a teacher who knew how to do individual lashes until my last phase of being in beauty school. And by that time, I'm already mentally like, I'm just ready to get up out of here. like. It was ridiculous. I remember we had times when we didn't have a teacher at all. We was just in the class chit-chatting. Like, that's how we became friends, just chit-chatting in class because there was nothing else to do. Um, it was just, like, not a good experience, and I don't recommend it. Um, I'm glad I made friends out of it, so I did get something out of it, but I definitely didn't get what I expected to get out of it. But, yeah, beauty school just wasn't it. Anywho, I want to give a special shout-out to my sister, Sherelle, my big sister. I know you're watching this. Um, she actually helped me pay for like two or three months out of school and my school tuition was expensive So the fact that you helped me it doesn't go unnoticed. I want to give you your roses while you're here I love you. I'm grateful for you like The best big sister in the world not just because of that you always look out for me But it really meant a lot for you to look out for me while I was in beauty school because I was ready to give up Child ready to give up. Um life after beauty school has definitely been interesting I thought that as soon as I got my certificate, I would be able to study for my exam. But when I tell y'all, it's been so much stuff going on in my personal life. Like, I literally, like, at, at every moment, there's like 500 tabs open in my brain. This is the best way I can explain it. There's like 500 tabs open in my brain, and I cannot focus on one thing because it's so much happening and so much going on. Um, and all my close friends, y'all know, y'all know what's going on. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. I know. And they say it all the time. They're like, Kia, now you going through a lot. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I am. Like, <laughs> what can I do? Um, but eventually I'm definitely going to take my exam. I'm hoping to take it like towards the end of this month. 
we were also supposed to have a graduation ceremony in May and they ended up changing it due to like they pushed it back due to COVID or whatever but then they sent us an email the other day saying that we're gonna have a graduation ceremony on June 11th so I'm really excited about that and I'll probably blog that too like yeah I didn't learn shit there but I pay my money so I'm gonna walk across the little stage or whatever and get my little well I already have my certificate but get whatever they give me who knows they might be giving out free goodie bags or something like that they might be giving out products or something like i'ma go okay um not gonna lie i'm kind of sad it's like bittersweet not the whole school part but more so bittersweet because any other time that i graduated like when i graduated from high school and when i graduated from college my family was there and obviously i chose to move all the way to houston texas i'm super far away from home um my family's not gonna be there so i'm super grateful for my friends because i know they'll be there but i don't know it's just different like i just be trying to remain positive um out here but yeah that's that <laughs> um the next topic i wanted to talk about was friends most of the friends that I made out here was actually from beauty school. I made a couple other friends like from places that I've worked at and stuff like that. But like my main solid group of friends were from beauty school. Um, I have nothing but positive things to say about them. Like obviously I have my friends back home in South Carolina and my friends back home in Virginia who are solid as hell. Like like super solid. Don't I'll never have to question their loyalty, anything like that. And I'm super grateful that I was able to find that here too. Like. 10 out of 10 recommend my friends they're cool as hell a lot of them are single too and they date in so you know if you're looking for somebody and if you're gonna treat them right if you're gonna treat them right i might put you on i might but um no my friends are super great if you haven't seen my last video definitely go watch that like some of them are in there obviously there's more but literally the greatest people the most caring people the most encouraging supporting or supportive people ever like i love them <laughs> um and i was super nervous about that coming out here i was like i actually put that on one of my vision boards i was like praying i was like i really hope i find some good friends out out here because i'm leaving some great friends in virginia so i'm hoping that you know when i come out here i can find some people and god bless me like 10 times over with the friends that he gave me so super grateful for y'all um next I can't even roll my eyes right next I'm gonna talk about dating because people be in my business and I get it you know I, for those who don't know I was in a six-year relationship and shortly after I moved out here we ended things and obviously I've been dating around and I don't recommend it <laughs> I don't recommend that shit at all like y'all like you know how people be saying on Twitter there's pee in the dating pool? There's a lot of shit in the dating pool. So be safe out here, y'all. Be careful. Like, oh my gosh. Dating has just not been successful for me. And I'm kind of mad because I was looking on TikTok, you know, after I broke up with my ex or whatever. On TikTok, it was like, yeah, after I finally left, you know, this dude, I found the man of my dreams, my soulmate, my husband, yada, yada, yada. That didn't happen for me. <laughs> that did not happen for me like i met this one guy i ain't gonna say no names because i don't know if they watching this video but if the shoe fits it fits okay i met this one guy and he seemed cool or whatever until he wasn't cool no more like don't get me wrong we ended off really good so if you are watching this video it's no shade to you like no shade but <laughs> he he can be a friend but dating him i don't recommend like what the fuck and it was my first time ever dating somebody younger than me and child never again i don't know one day maybe i'll do a more in-depth video of like my dating life just not right now anywho that was the first guy the second guy we're actually still in contact like he's cool he's cool i'm really not saying much i'm saying stuff but i'm not saying a lot but second guy he's cool like you know here and there like we'll check in with each other and that's cool now the last guy now the last guy oh my god oh 
the devil spawn. Like, and I'm not being dramatic, y'all. Like, the stuff that this dude put me through <clears throat> in such a short amount of time, like, it changed my life forever. I'll say that much. Um, like, now I'm actually practicing abstinence. And I'm actually not dating. Like, I, I, I don't want to. Like, I'm traumatized. <laughs> I'm traumatized. I know I keep laughing. Like, none of this shit is funny. Like, I swear, y'all. If y'all only knew, it's not funny. But I'm definitely traumatized. And, yeah, I'm not dating anymore. So, as for my dating life, I'm not doing it anymore. Um, If my soulmate comes around, praying that, you know, he will at some point, then we can go from there. But as of right now, as of May, May 11th, 2022, I am not dating. I'm good on that energy. I'm... No. Anywho, next was jobs. <clears throat> so I've been out here since February 27th of 2021, and it is May 11th, 2022. And I've had not one, not two, not three, not four, but five jobs. I've had five jobs since I came out here. And I mean, it's not out of character for me if I'm being straight up. Like, I don't be staying at people's jobs too long just because I don't be caring as much as some people care. Like, some people are like, oh, this is my job. I have to do it. Like, this is my life. No. I got a life outside of this. This is just my way to make money. But I can go make money somewhere else. Y'all start pissing me off. I'm going to go find another source of income. Okay? Um, yeah, so I've had five jobs since I've been out here. My first job was... Or actually, I had six. Because when I first moved out here, I would... Damn. Damn. <laughs> My first job when I moved out here, I was working from home. You know, tried a little nine to five thing. Wasn't for me. Didn't do it long. Was like, nope. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. Then when I started beauty school, or right before I started beauty school, I started working at this breakfast spot. It wasn't bad. The money just wasn't great. It wasn't good enough for like what I needed. Um, but yeah, I worked there. And then I became a bottle girl. I became a bottle girl and I did that for six and a half months and then some shit went down and I was like, oh no, I need to take a break. Like, I need to take a break from the nightlife. Well, that's what I said, but then the next job I got was another bottle girl job, but I did also, wait, this is how this happened. So, <laughs> I did that for six and a half months, something went down and I needed another job like ASAP, obviously. So, I took an, on another nightlife job and I was like, you know what, I literally worked there for a day, a day of training and I was like, this I just need to be out of this environment right now. Like, I was traumatized from what had happened. And I was just like, let me just take a break, go back to just being a waitress. So I was a waitress at this other place for like a month. And I think if I'm being honest, I only really went there for like two weeks. Because something was going on with my eyes, so I couldn't go to work one weekend, which was very annoying because I know I could have made money. But yeah, I stayed there for a little while and I was just like no I'm ready to get back in the nightlife like yeah like life got life goes on and then the money that I was making there wasn't like it was okay but it wasn't like nightlife money like I need a band I need money I got big girl bills I need big money okay so I'm back in the nightlife now so I actually was supposed to start my training tonight but it was too much going on today too much it's too much going on in general but I'm gonna start soon, I'll say that. I work for this promotional group and I'm really thinking about taking you guys along one day like in a vlog of Life as a Bottle Girl because it's actually cool. Like you meet a lot of people, especially for somebody like me who is an esthetician, like I'm a lot of my clients come from me being a bottle girl because it's a lot of girls out here, beautiful girls who wanna get like waxed to get their lashes done and that's my thing. So I'm literally like drawing them in like, come on. I've even had girls ask me to do their hair because, I mean, nine times out of ten, I do my own hair. Like, obviously today I just got the puffs. Some days I just wear the slick back. But I've done, like, butterfly locks on myself, regular locks, whatever. But I'm not a cosmetologist. But I'm money hungry. So at this point, I've kind of been doing whatever. Um, but, yeah, I'm a bottle girl. It's cool. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to take you along with that. That could be a very interesting video um and lastly i wanted to talk a little bit about the nightlife here in houston that's one thing i can brag about like the nightlife here is lit like monday through sunday 
every day is lit like it never fails it's always something going on it's always something to do here um now is the customer service always great no hell no nah. but it's still a vibe okay it's still a vibe um so if you guys are thinking about moving here or even just visiting some of my favorite places to go to out here are like atomic bottle i've never had a bad experience there the service has always been pretty good there um lost and found always had a great service um i mean i'm gonna say my jobs because obviously i want y'all to come but if you do come book through me y'all know my instagram and if you don't know it, i'll leave it below if you do come to these next two places you better book through me i recommended you okay um but parma and seaside look with your fave i got you um, those are great places as well. I actually went to Seaside a couple of times before I started working there and I always thought it was great vibes. I'm like, wow, this is lit. Like, I be lit. <laughs> um, but those are more so like lounges and like hookah lounges, not like club clubs. The club clubs that I've been to out here, I guess I would say so far my top two are the address and space. They're both super packed all the time. I only really like them because every time I went, somebody had a section like I was going to be in a section so I mean if you are gonna go there please be in a section because it's super packed like like packed to the point where I'd be like I can't breathe up in here let's get let's get where we need to go because no but no the nightlife out here is super lit it's also other things to do like they have museums they have a lot of um trails and stuff like that I don't know if anybody else is into that but I love like walking on trails um, Memorial Park is super dope. It's so pretty out there. So is Buffalo Bayou. It kind of stink out there, but it's still like, it's gorgeous scenery. Like whenever I need to clear my head, like I'll go on these trails, go for a walk, jog, run, whatever. Like, and it's good vibes. Um, there's a lot of other places that are cool out here. And like I said, I have to make more videos. So I'll probably just start taking you guys along with me on my day-to-day -day life. Um, maybe not day-to-day -day life, cause some days, some days are just not it but on the days when it is it i'll be sure to vlog it so you guys can know like where to go where not to go or at least get an idea of houston um but yeah that pretty much kind of sums up my time here i've had like a lot of highs i've definitely had more lows and it's unfortunate it's depressing <laughs> I need to stop laughing because this shit is not funny. But um it's it's been a lot since I've been out here and nothing could have prepared me for the things that I have experienced since I've been out here. It's like I wanna say more, but I like I said, I really don't want to discourage anybody from moving away from home or moving moving to Houston because this is just like my personal experience. But it's been super chaotic. I'll just leave it at that. But this is only my first year. I'm just praying that, you know, things will turn around. And obviously, you guys will see whether or not it turns around. Because I'm going to keep on doing these videos regardless. But yeah, that's pretty much a life update for me. Um, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. But like I said, I'm super grateful for my friends that I have out here. And super grateful for my friends that I have back home. Because... And my family, obviously, like my parents have been supporting me like they've never supported me, like super, super supportive. My brother's been looking out for me. My brother who's out here, well, my brother's best friend who I call my brother, he's out here too. He looks out for me, like super grateful. I have solid people around me. I had to get rid of a lot of people, but the good people I have, the great people I have in my life is way, way, way more than the three eight shit ass fuck. <laughs> Let's rewind because I was about to get mad. <laughs> Anyways, the great people that I have in my life is so, there's so many of them, so many in comparison to like the three or four people that I'm just like, yeah, fuck you. Like, ew, ew, ew. Um, so I'm grateful for that. Grateful for my support system. And y'all are keeping me going whether y'all know it or not. Y'all are the only reason that I am still here. The only reason I'm still breathing because y'all support me like no other. And it, it's, it's like crazy. 
Because usually I'm the friend, I'm the strong friend, I'm the friend who's always like motivating everybody and telling them, you got this, you got this. And don't get me wrong, I still do it while I'm sitting in bed crying, can't get out of bed. I'm like, oh yeah, girl, you got it. You got this. Um, so that's normally me, but to have that energy reciprocated, like it means so, so, so much to me. Like it's like I need it. And I'm so glad that I have it. Um, but yeah, that pretty much sums up this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.